Hello. I'd like to discuss another free software program that you might like to use. This one is called Screencast.com, not to be confused with Screencast-O-Matic. Screencast-O-Matic, which I discussed in another video, is a software program that allows you to capture everything on your screen and make a recording of it. Screencast.com is a place for you to store your recordings. You can store lots of different video and lots of different formats. So we scroll down here. It says here on their website, Screencast.com can host just about any video format, including Flash, Wave, QuickTime, just to name a few. Screencast.com is created was created by a company called TechSmith, which also puts out Jing and Camtasia. Both of these are recording software programs as well. So the nice thing about Screencast is that it allows you to store two gigabytes of video and audio files can be stored in your Screencast.com account. It also has two gigabytes of monthly bandwidth. Let me log into my account and show you some of the features. So this is my screencast.com account. I've created several different videos and store them in my screencast.com account. I then share the links with my students through our course learning management site. So it's very easy to upload content, store them in folders, and then share the link with anyone that I want to. So you click to very simply click upload content. You can browse your desktop and here's my mp4 recording from my Screencast-O-Matic that I um, did in a previous video. I've already uploaded it several times so we're not going to do that but that's how you would load the content and now you can see down here well here it is. Now over here to the side there's a folder it looks like a pen several arrows and a trash can. So what I'm going to do is click on the arrows. This brings up the URLs and the links to that file which is in my screencast.com account. I now can then copy that link and share that link in an email message like it says down here email invitation or I can copy the link and upload it into a discussion post. I can copy that link and upload it into an assignment. Or I can embed the link in the discussion post or embed the link in, a, in an assignment. Or if I had a website or blog, I can copy the link here and put it into my website or blog. So the nice thing about this software, screencast.com, it allows me to store my files. So if I created a QuickTime file, if I could created a flash file, if I created an created mp4 file, I can save it in my screencast.com account. Then I can choose which files I want to share and who I'm going to share them with. No one else can see what's in your screencast.com account other than you. The only thing that they're going to be able to see is the file that you shared a link to. So in my account I have several files my students can only see the files that I share a link or give them the link to that file or give them the link to that recording. They cannot see any of the other recordings in my Screencast account. Just the recording for which I share a link. I hope you find this recording useful and I hope that you have a chance to play with Screencast.com. It really is I like the software as a way to store my files and I don't have to worry about if my file is too big to upload into Canvas or to any other learning management system. It's really easy to share a link and then people click on the link and they can will be able to see my file without me having to worry about trying to upload everything, especially some of the bigger files. Um, it gets a little cumbersome to upload large files, so this is a nice um, place a server where you can store your files and share a link to the files that you want your instructors or your classmates to view. Thank you for your attention.